Hello, welcome back. I'm gonna build a, another frame for another drift trike because my red one starts to suffer after almost four years of abuse off-roading, on the snow, sliding, hitting some walls by accident. So now I got this one. I already chopped it. Okay, it needs a bit more chopping. But this one's gonna be special. I haven't seen anybody build a trike with okay with front forks that's pretty normal-ish but I'm gonna use this part here straighten it with a bar and put a suspension here which is I call it it's a motocross suspension so you can adjust the rebound and the coil and the height and whatever and see how it works so let's start this weird new project Right where I left off, it's here. Bicycle is chopped. Right now the annoying part is to clean the aluminium, prepare it for welding. I'm gonna put this thing here. And the suspension which is gonna be adjustable is gonna be something like this. Time to find a place to mount the suspension. I'll speed it in with it. And somebody seems to somewhere here. We can adjust the right height. Something like okay, not all of it, but just a tiny strip. On paper it looks like it works, but let's see if it works actually. <laughs> Alright, where I left off last night. Oh, sorry. The suspension is here. Welded this part, but I don't have any flat bar of aluminium so I have to wait for that so at least the suspension is mocked up I'm gonna put a uh, two flat bars left and right with few holes so I can adjust the angle now I'm gonna start building the main body for the engine and the wheel carrier and the seat and whatever I'm gonna chop this into size and I'm out of welding gas also but okay Add everything, prepare the metals, and when I get the welding gas, just weld it all on and that's it. Problem. I don't have the drill, the right size drill, so I have to do it 
to some dental work. And I've been chilling, watching the ocean with you. Baby, up with a slow motion crew. And we up in the clouds when. Alright, what's where I left off? Made the engine bracket. Uh, I call it made a jig. <laughs> it was very easy. This is the rear end. This is where the axle carriers will sit down. This one's gonna be the main part that goes forward to the steering wheel. The engine will sit here. Left and right the uh, axle with a sprocket, brakes and whatever. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna chop some metal, something like this, I don't know, four millimeters thickness. Put it here. Scusi, put it here and just cut it into a triangle on both sides to make it stronger. Because we love to hit the walls. <laughs> right. Let me get on with this. Supporters, everything is clamped down because I want to weld it and I want everything to stay in place. So let's start the welding. Hello and welcome. A lot of people had a lot of different questions about this new trike that I built, especially about the two suspension front forks in the center that I get a picture, don't do justice about it so let me explain right we have the normal forks here of a bicycle and this one here how it works it goes from here to the main body and this one the pedals i turned it backwards so let me just so it does only the back side once you stretch it and the uh, reason why I would like to put uh, the right height, the stiffness, and you know, I have to test it, which I haven't driven it, I haven't had the chance to drive it yet. And over here, it's aluminium. Basically, the front part of the bicycle is aluminium, and the back side is made out of steel. And here I could drill more holes, but okay, here I have the, I can adjust it up and down, stiffness, and some other things here rebound whatever right let's go back to the fuel system now two bottles drill two holes goes down to a T filter fuel pump goes into carburetor the uh, reason why I have this fuel pump also because always at revving at high RPM non-stop and constantly having fuel starvation and another another thing that I've changed yesterday the exhaust was running this way on the outer side so I chopped it and put it under okay here I have to make a bracket have a key switch I'm gonna make a bracket for that one 
because I run lights also I would like to put a battery I've got uh, run some wiring for front and the back lights brake lights and whatever but no turning lights <laughs> rear brake master cylinder goes into this one this one I'm gonna change it out. I don't really like it ah some other guy was asking me how does the gears work all right let me show you goes into gear into this thing which it made it run smoother here into there to there and there you have the gear now it works much smoother and much uh, shifting and whatever all right i think that's about it if you've got any more questions you can ask me and i can put it explain it more in detail thank you guys for watching see you soon.